Hello Aries, how are you guys doing today? Today we are talking about the energies surrounding Aries for the month of February. This tarot reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you are unsure of what those signs are, let me know down in the comments below and I can direct you to some resources that will help you figure that out. So, without further ado, let's get into this tarot reading. Today I am using my Rider Tarot as well as the Enchanted Map Oracle. What are the energies surrounding Aries for the month of February? Something is rattling on my desk. What is it? <laughs> what are the energies surrounding Aries this February? The Ace of Swords. The Emperor, the King of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. This is the universe telling you that it is giving you opportunities to better yourself, to better your situation, to improve who you are on a deeper level but you're missing the opportunities right now you're very much stuck in a lack mindset and the universe source god whatever you want to call it um is telling you that it's time to open up your eyes and specifically your third eye it is time to realize that there is more to this experience than what you are letting yourself experience right now. The way you are perceiving the world around you is leading to a very limiting experience. And the universe wants you to know that there is so much more The Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles here, they, they speak of a lack mindset. Um, the Five of Pentacles here, like you feel like you're doing it alone. These two gentlemen, they're out on the street on a cold day. They need help, um, but they're not willing to go into this church behind them and ask for help. But in reality, that church is willing to help them. Now, I'm not saying you need to go to church. Um, I'm just saying that there are people in this world who are willing to help you, but you have to be willing to ask. You have to be willing to get over your ego, over your, what's the word I'm looking for? Right now you're feeling like you are not worthy of what it is that you want, and therefore you are not asking for it. And Spirit wants you to know that you are worthy. You are deserving of what you want and you need to be able to see that. This seven of pentacles here. This person planted seeds, nourished those seeds, watered the ground, nourished the plants, watered them, put fertilizer, did everything they could to harvest this abundance and yet look at them they look sad they look like it's not enough they put all that hard work in and look at how little it received but i mean that pile is huge it's almost as tall as he is and so it's about that mindset shift instead of thinking i don't have enough it's about being grateful for what you have. And I think for being grateful in what you have, 
is going to be the key to being feeling like you are deserving of more. If you feel like what you have right now is not enough and never will be enough, then why would you ever be deserving of more? You need to show gratitude, show thanks, show appreciation for what you have. This doesn't mean you need to glow, go out and gloat about, you know, a fancy car or any of that. It is about being thankful for what you do have. Being thankful for your car that can get you to work to make money to pay for your bills. Even if right now that car is not the car of your dreams, even if right now that job is not the job you want in five years, even if right now you want to be able to do more than live paycheck to paycheck, instead of seeing the car, the job, the money that you do have as things that you do have, you're seeing them as not enough. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with wanting more, but it's about appreciating what you do have. And when you appreciate what you do have, then the world and the universe, whatever you want to call it, is going to be willing to give you more because you are thankful for what you have. You know, so it's about being thankful for the car that can get you to work safely, can get you to work on time, can get you to work without being cold or wet. It's about being thankful for the job that gives you the money to pay the bills. It's about being it's about being grateful for the job that provides you with a sense of community with your employee employers and your coworkers. Um it's about being grateful for the money that you have that pays the bills, even if it can't pay all of them. It's about being thankful for the money that you do have that does come in, knowing that there is always more out there. This emperor and king of cups energy, this is realizing your power, realizing your worth, realizing that you are deserving of what you want. And when you allow yourself to be deserving of these things, when you allow yourself to want more, it's almost like right now you're saying like, oh, I really want that, but there's starving kids in parts of the world. I really want that, but there's homeless people. So, you know, maybe, well, no, it's, there are homeless people in the world, which is why I am so grateful for the home and the roof over my head. There are people starving, which is why I am so grateful for the food I do have. It's this mindset shift, which will allow you to bring even more in. Because when you are grateful, and when you do understand that there is suffering in this world, and that there is people who have less than you, then you realize how much you do have. And when you are able to bring more into your life, you will be able to share this harvest with others. When you realize that this harvest is huge, you can give some of this har harvest to these people. Education. So this could even be like taking the steps that you know you need to progress from this. This could be, you know, just a very simple example would be understanding and learning about what plants grow together. Um, when is the appropriate time to start seedlings for whatever crop so that you can get the most out of it? You know, it is about taking the opportunities given to you to learn, to grow, to improve, because when and for being grateful for those opportunities, because when we can learn, we can grow, we can improve, then this energy is not so far away, right? We can put these people up on a pedestal, we can put ourselves, our future self up on a pedestal that seems like it is unable to be reached. You know, we can say like, oh, I'll never be good enough to reach this level. But if we take the time to improve our skills, if we take the time to improve our mindset, our capabilities, you know, we can always learn, we can always improve, we can always grow. 
Um, but we have to be mindful of the fact that this is not far from us. This is still us. It's just where we want to go. And we need to be able to take those steps to learn. Unexpected visitors. I feel like those unexpected visitors is this Ace of Swords. This is an Ace of Swords is a very intellectual energy as well. So this education, this Ace of Swords might come in unexpected ways. This might be, you know, using this Five of Pentacles as an example. This might be as you walk past the front door, you bump into someone accidentally. Well, it's, it's about seeing that coincidence and understanding that there are no coincidences in this life. There's only events that coincide. So what do you need to learn from this event? What do you need to take home from it? What do you need to be inspired and motivated from by this event? You know, maybe bumping into that person will allow them to have the courage to ask for help because they see, or maybe it's someone who is in a very similar circumstance to them, but they went inside and be like, well, well, what were you doing in there? Well, they could help us too. Moonlight. Yeah, this is, this is about reflections and seeing circum circumstances for what they are. And then taking the messages from those and those and learning and growing. If you can't see this crop for what it is, and instead you only see it for what it isn't, you're not growing. But when you can stop seeing it for what it isn't, and you can start seeing it for what it is, and when you can start seeing yourself for what you are, then opportunities will start coming your way. Okay, Aries. That is my message for February for you. I hope you enjoyed this tarot reading. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Love, light, and happiness to you, Aries. Have a fantastic day. Bye.